Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be trying something new. Uh, loaded up now I have the Dalek mod, update 56, and we're going to be checking every single TARDIS that they have in this mod up to this point. So, let it start off with in the Doctor's chronological order with TARDIS number one. So, we're inside this TARDIS now and just a little bit of lag there. We're inside this TARDIS now, and as you can see, this is a, a recreation of the first Doctor's TARDIS. You even have buttons and different things that you can do. Force fields activated. TARDIS is dematerialized. They made the actual switches invisible so that it doesn't mess with the actual things. But yeah, uh, we'll rematerialize this TARDIS now. And in a second, we will have a look at all the different panels. So as of the recent update, there's now a chameleon panel, which lets you change the outside and some other things. So you got a sonic charger, you got the chameleon panel. Over here you have a food machine and you got a light box. You got a monitor that this lets you select your destination. There's some doors over here. That leads you back outside the TARDIS. Nice. <laughs> So let's pop back in quickly. A lot of the features on the TARDIS are the same, so the dematerialization and everything. So I won't go through that every time. Yeah, so a quick look around. Uh, you got your roundels. You've got this nice backdrop. But yeah, there's not much to say about the first Doctor's TARDIS. And now we will move on to the second. After we watch these lovely doors open. That's a nice animation. Okay, now on to the second Doctor's TARDIS. We open up the door and we head on inside. This looks a lot like the first, just it's a lot more basic. We've removed the glass wall from back here. The monitor's changed a bit and yeah, you still got the same control. Ooh, you got different control panels, but they're still just invisible. And yeah, so that's basically the same. Uh, not much to add. There's a nice chair here you can sit in. And another big chair over here. And yeah, I guess we will move on to the third Doctor's TARDIS. So, the third Doctor's TARDIS doesn't have its own interior. So, I selected... Uh, I just selected the first Doctor's interior again. So, we won't have to stick in here long, but we do get to see this, see this nice animation again. That's nice. But yeah, the, the third Doctor's TARDIS doesn't have its own interior. Moving on to the fourth Doctor's TARDIS, we can enter through the doors. And you've got the nice wooden interior, which I think, if I remember correctly, was the secondary console. Not the main. But yeah, you've got a wooden interior TARDIS. Nice big monitor that's classed as a monitor okay so yeah again you can choose where you want to go you've got your handbrake and everything they made it invisible so it doesn't mess with the console but yeah uh not much to say here and let's head back out moving on to the fifth doctor's tardis you have a look around it's a lighter shade of blue than all the others up to now I really should have been having a look around, but as you can see, there's a there's a good couple of TARDISes. They all look pretty nice. The modeling is done pretty well. But yeah, the fifth Doctor's TARDIS also doesn't have an interior. So I added the classic interior to this. This is just a classic Doctor Who looking interior. I don't think it's based off any specific Doctor. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. You got some roundels on the wall. It's a nice square space. You've got your uh, coat rack with your scarf. And yeah. It's not much to say here, but let's jump on to the next one. So, coming up to the next TARDIS, we have the Eighth Doctors. Oh. There we go. Have a nice look around. It's got blacked out windows. It's, it's a nice shade of blue, I think. And yeah, coming in here is a lot different to the other TARDISes. This one, 
other than the floor being missing. Okay, we're just going to ignore the fact that the floor is missing here. And we're just going to continue on with our interior. So yeah, this one has a like vanilla looking uh, console. It's not got a natural console. It's got, and then you've got your brick here. And yeah, it, this looks pretty nice in my opinion. It looks a lot more vanilla than the others. And it looks like a player made TARDIS. All, obviously all of them are made by players, the mod creators specifically. But yeah, this this looks pretty nice in my opinion. I like the homemade sort of center console. But yeah, let's head back out to the next one. Next we have the Ninth Doctors. And this personally is when I started watching Doctor Who with the revival of the series. So, if you look, you've got your windows, then a nice blue and white texture. The box looks pretty nice. It's a bit bigger than all the others. And you got your public call sign in white. Oh, this one had it in black. Well, it's a bluey black, but yeah. So, heading inside the Ninth Doctor's TARDIS, we see the classic coral. Now this, this for me, this is a big TARDIS. This is the first TARDIS I saw. This was the one I had the playset of as a kid. And yeah, you've got, you've got different panels. You've got your flight lever. You've got your monitor. It looks pretty dang nice. You've got the nice grates on the floor for the under area. It is a bit, it is a, it does look a bit off. I do, I do think, but hey, they did a pretty good job your ladder for this upper section your nice seats and hey look you can actually reach the flight level from the seats I wonder why that wasn't a thing <laughs> then we'll rematerialize but yeah um oh okay I accidentally set us it set us off into space again but yeah this is a very nice looking TARDIS in my opinion I think it's the most tardis looking TARDIS up to now, like the most accurate towards the show, but I think that looks pretty good. Now onto the 10th Doctor's TARDIS. So, not much change between the two it looks like, the TARDIS got a darker colour, and the windows are now a yellowy hue, but on the inside they are exactly the same. Obviously the 9th Doctor's and the 10th Doctor had the, shared the same TARDIS, but yeah. Let's head over into the next one. So, the next TARDIS interior is the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. Now, if you look at the outside of the box, this is a really nice shade of blue, I think. You've got your white windows with some darker shades. And yeah, you got the St. John's Ambulance uh, logo on the front. And if we open up, we have the coral interior of the TARDIS, which I think looks pretty nice. It looks better than the old coral interior did that they had for here. And yeah, this this has been redone recently, and I it I can say it looks pretty nice in my opinion. You got a copper keyboard. You got all the stuff that the like doctor had. Door controls. Got all different stuff. You got a command panel. You got your flight lever. Got red levers. You got everything in here. Um, it's also nice and spacious. I like the fact that there's multiple layers to it. You can come down here, recre uh, recreate the scene where the doctor was working on the TARDIS. Uh, with Rory's help and yeah this is a pretty nice looking TARDIS in my opinion the only thing I wish they did have was just some more like I don't know some more like rooms of the TARDISes I know players can obviously create their own but I, it would have been nice to see the swimming pool or the library or some other features but yeah you got corridors so you could you could easily build your own and I guess that's what this game is about, really. But yeah, let's move on to the next TARDIS. So, coming on to the 12th Doctor's TARDIS. Again, we have the St. John's Ambulance logo. Your The screen, the windows have blue tints now. And it looks just a bit darker and a bit dirtier. But yeah, let's head on inside. And now, obviously, I think... Wow. <laughs> this, this looks... Okay, yeah, this looks amazing. This mod, this is interior has recently been redone, and you can tell it looks absolutely 
fantastic. It looks like a proper TARDIS. Um, you got all your knickknacks up here. You got a nice walkway, which I like. We head on down. You got ev all your panels here. You got your handbrake. You got the telepathic circuits. You got different monitors. You got your door controls. You got the crank panel, communications panel. And yeah. Um, again, there's also room for you to build off. One thing I would like for this mod to add is for these corridor entrances that actually be able to open. That would be pretty nice. Have them actually be a door instead of instead of just a um, a blank space. But yeah, this TARDIS, in my opinion, looks amazing. It looks like yeah. <laughs> Um, if if they continue to recreate the other models like this, then wow. But yeah, let's head back out. <laughs> 